never ever give your money to these three following people. Money's hard to come by for many people right now. Inflation and soaring costs of living. So I recommend that you never give your money to these three types of people. Number one, and I know this is going to sound bad and I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with this, but I think it's important. One, never give your money to homeless people. Unfortunately, people are homeless because their finances are in bad order Um, and you don't know what they're going to do with that money. It's very likely that that money's going to go where their previous money went. And I'm not just saying in drugs and addictions, but just managed badly. I think it's far better to buy things for homeless people and to do things for homeless people than it is to give money to homeless people. So my first recommendation of the type of person to never give money to is homeless people. The second type of person you should never give money to, and again, some people aren't going to agree with this and not necessarily going to like this. Don't give money to your kids. Don't spoil your kids because the world doesn't give money to you. You have to earn money from the world. When you're older and adult, you don't get given money by anyone unless you become a sponger to the system. Or, of course, unless you're in an unfortunate circumstance, that's a caveat. So you shouldn't give your kids money. You should teach your kids the value of money. Teach your kids to earn money. Teach your kids to do chores for money and work for money and not just give them money. Now, a lot of people are spoiling their kids because they never had much when they were young. And it comes from a really good place, but they're giving their kids money because they never had any, but they're making up for the losses that they had. And they don't realise that they're going to raise a somewhat dependent um, and juvenile adult uh, as their kids grow up. Because their kids will grow up and expect the world to give them money because their parents gave them money. Look, I'm asked a lot about parenting. I'm no parenting guru. But what I will say is this. I think great parenting is raising your kids, understanding how the world is how the world is. And the world doesn't give anyone money. The world only gives money to people who create value and who earn and work for it. So the second type of person to not ever give your money to is your kids. The third type of person to not give your money to is your friends. Now, you can have great friends that you built up over your whole life And then you lend them money or give them money and it goes wrong and it ruins that entire friend's relationship. Now, if you're just prepared to write it off and you want to do it because you just feel good inside, then that's something that you can decide. But if you want to preserve a friendship, don't go giving them money or loaning them money or expecting them to get money back because that can often damage the relationship. And that's probably not worth it. You know, I would also say family. Now, looking at it from the other side of the coin, if you're borrowing money, nothing wrong with borrowing money from friends and family, but make sure you pay the money back and that you treat them like a proper investor and don't take liberties because they are a family member or a friend, because that is the quickest way to ruin that really important relationship. So let me know what you think of my three types of people never to give money to. Um, And yeah, uh, I'd love your thoughts and comments on whether you agree or disagree. Let me just do a quick summary. Just a quick one from me today. So the three types of people you should never give money to, in my opinion, are one, homeless people. I know it sounds bad, but they're bad with money. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. And yeah, sometimes they're unlucky and sometimes they're not. They're probably going to use that money badly. Otherwise, they wouldn't be homeless. The first thing they would do is make sure they got some accommodation. So instead of giving them money, give them food or do something for them or clothes or shelter. The second type of person you shouldn't give money to is your kids. A lot of people are doing that because they want their kids to have what they didn't have. But the best way to raise your kids, in my humble opinion, is to raise them, teaching them how the world is. And the world doesn't give anyone money. The world only rewards people for work and value. 
So you've got to teach your kids work and value. Don't give them money. The third type of people to not give money to is your friends because you'll fall out over a long term friendship and a relationship over a small amount of money because you'll be pissed off and they'll be pissed off. Now, look, on the other side of it, if you're going to borrow money, borrow money from anyone, but make sure you pay it back and you don't ruin the relationship. So let me know what you think so, your thoughts are in the comments. Your, let me know what your thinks are in the comments. Um, thank you very much for all your kind comments. Dahlia has said she does give money to the homeless. I'd love to know why. Now, look, um, James is exactly right here. Schools fail to educate children regarding money and all financial attributes. I completely agree with that. There is terrible financial education in school. We're not taught about money management, about money budgeting. We're not taught about, um, you know, the laws of money and how money works. And this is such a... It's like one of the worst things about our society is the lack of money education. And this is one thing I'm on a mission to change. And this is why I have Rob.team. Because Rob.team helps you get better financial education and knowledge. And you'll pay 50 grand a year to go to college to learn about economics and business and finance and money from people who are broke. The system is completely the wrong way around and broken. Whereas you can join Rob.team for just the cost of a large coffee, one third of the cost of Netflix. You can cancel any time. You can get content going back three years. You can learn how to start a business, scale a business, get better financial education and knowledge, learn how to make, manage and master money. And how you join is really quick and easy. You simply open a new page on the internet, do it now. Open a new window, a new page on the internet and type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Let me say that again. Just open a new page on the internet. Type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Now, if you join there, you can get better financial education and knowledge that you're not getting in schools for both you and your children, by the way. And I always let you share your login with your children because I want to give back. Um, and you'll, be, you'll learn how to start a business, scale a business, get better financial education and knowledge, create multiple streams of income, build that side hustle, that work from home um, and that, that recurring income and digital online assets. Thank you very much for the kind words and all of you that are members in the comments. So open a new window on the Internet right now. Type in R-O-B dot. T-E-A-M. Go and join my uh, members area. Get better financial education and knowledge. Don't get hundreds of thousands in debt going through the school and education system. You can invest less than a third of the cost of Netflix and you can join Rob.team. Um, and I'll see you there to get better financial education and knowledge. Start and scale your business. Do you know there's Zoom masterclasses probably every 10 days on Rob.team? And the one coming up in about 24 hours is the seven ways, the seven fastest ways to make 100K. Would you like to know how to make the next 100K or your first 100K in the quickest possible time? If you would like to know how to do that, we've got a Rob.team masterclass coming up in the next 24 hours. So if you join Rob.team right now, you'll get this two hour deep dive live masterclass on the seven best ways to the next 100K or your first 100K. All for the cost of a large coffee, one third of the cost of Netflix. So to join and gain access to that masterclass completely for free, simply open a new page on the internet right now and type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Russell has said, I follow you and you're, and you're great. Thank you, Russell. But you're always trying to sell yourself. Absolutely right. I mean, no one else is going to sell me, Russell. Are you going to sell me? Uh, people on the street, my friends and family going to sell me? No, no one's going to sell me. I'm going to sell me. And if you don't sell you, Russell, then you're not going to live a, a great life as much as you could. So I am unapologetic. Do you know what I'm really proud of, Russell? Is that for the last 51 days, every day I've mentioned Rob Team. Every single day for 51 days. That's what you call consistency, Russell. And we're approaching nearly 1,500 new members, over 5,000 members now, because every day for the last 52 days or so, I have mentioned Rob.team. And if you think something wrong with that, then that's on you, not on me. I'm really grateful that you follow me. But if you don't like that, then you're more than welcome to leave. Um, you're making money from is be desperate. You're making money from is be desperate. So uh, probably if you want to give me some feedback, you've got to get your grammar and your um, writing correct. There, I don't know what you mean um, by you're making money from is be desperate. Um, but I don't think people sell enough personally. And here's the thing. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just trying to tell it because if you think about it, it's a fiver a month. 
So if someone's got an issue with me selling something for a fiver a month, the issue is them, not me. Like, think about it. It's a fiver a month. You spend that a day on a coffee. You spend three times that on Netflix. Where's the issue? And if you don't sell yourself, no one's going to sell yourself. I mean, I don't even see it as selling. I see it as doing daily content, which you've said that you, you like. And then just mentioning at the end that I have Rob dot team. Why would I not tell you about that? I tell you what, I'm going to look at it another way, Russell. I am ashamed that for three years I've had the Rob dot team platform. And up until the last 52 years, 52 days, I never mentioned it to you. Like I did free content most days for the last three years. And I didn't mention Rob dot team. I am ashamed that I didn't do that. Why? Because there's many of you on here that could have got better financial education and knowledge. You could have started and scaled your business um, and you could have made more money. And it was I did you a disservice by not mentioning it. So uh, if you want to get better financial education and knowledge, start and scale your business. And look, I've made hundreds of millions of pounds, like hundreds of millions of pounds. So I should be sharing that with people like these college professors and uni- you go and get your university degree and they're broke. They're broke. They're earning 50 grand a year, dollars. They're broke. And they're teaching the world about business finance and, and money. That's completely wrong. I should be disrupting that and I should be talking more about it. So thank you, Russell, for sparking this conversation. I believe I've not been talking about Rob.team enough and I will consi- I will talk about it every day for the next year. I commit to that. So if you want to watch my videos and get all the free content, but you don't want to make any investment in yourself, just leave because you are your best asset. You pay yourself the best interest, invest in yourself wisely. And you shouldn't just free a, skim a load of free content off people and never pay. Like if you like influencers and creators and entrepreneurs, buy their products, buy their services, buy their courses, buy their books, join their programs. Because if you just keep consuming free stuff and never make an investment, free advice It's worth every penny. But when you pay, you pay attention. So it's not really about me or the influence. It's about you. And are you just looking to skim all the free stuff and be a consumer of the system? Or are you going to start investing, investing in the system, investing in yourself? Look, good discussion. So um, let me do a quick summary. Never give your money to the three following people. I'd love your thoughts in the comments, by the way, if you agree or disagree, or if you'd add any other types of people you shouldn't give your money to. And by the way, you should give your money to me. (laughs) I've given you a load of content. I deliver for you every day. You should be giving your money to me. Buy my books. Jump on rob.team, R-O-B.T-E-A-M. Look, a a fiver a month, a large coffee, one third of the price of Netflix, even 100,000 members ain't going to make me rich. I make more than that in my property portfolio in a year. Um, Not going to make any difference to me if you don't sign up or do but it could make a massive difference to you. So open up a new page on the internet, type in rob.team, do it for you, get better financial education and knowledge, learn, earn, invest. There's the nine module 10 hour how to invest series. There's the seven ways, fastest ways to 100K, your first or next 100K. There's 21 ways to monetize social media. Like if you can't get a return on a fiver or the cost of a large coffee. There's something wrong with you. I'm just saying it how it is. So the three types of people you should never give your money to, in my opinion, are one, the homeless, because they've not managed money well, otherwise they wouldn't be where they are. And so you should give them other things if you want to look after them, buy them food, buy them clothes. Number two, you shouldn't give your money to kids because the world won't give money to them when they're an adult. You should um, make them work for it, make them do chores for it, make them earn it and understand um, value exchange. And then you shouldn't give money to your friends um, or your family unless you want to ride it off and, you know, because you could potentially ruin that relationship. They're the three people I think you shouldn't give money to. Now, that being said, if you want to borrow money, borrow money from anyone, but make sure you fucking pay it back. Pay back more than they wanted from you or they loaned from you and show them that you're investable um, and that you are worthy um, of giving them money because um, actually the other way around, like I would not lend or, or give money to friends or family. Well, I'd give it if I thought in my mind, don't want it back ever. It's just me doing something nice. In that case, it's slightly different. Donna has said, if your um, info helps just one person, 
Um, it's worth mentioning. So thank you for exactly Donna. Like, like I said, for three years, I never mentioned Rob.team. And there are thousands of members getting better financial education and knowledge. Um, Steve said he's made over a hundred grand in Rob.team. I get so many great comments and feedback on all the members of Rob.team. So I'm, I should have mentioned it. Um, the last three years, every live I did, but I didn't. And that was on me. I'm a bit British. I don't normally um, push my products or services. You don't even know this, but I've got 35 or 40 different courses that go up from, what, a thousand pounds to 48,000 pounds. I never sell any of them on here. So anyone who just moans about me pitching Rob.team, they have no idea. They have no idea. But anyone who, anyone who challenges that I shouldn't be selling um, a five pound membership site, there's something wrong with them and not wrong with me. I, I really believe that. I believe that you've got to learn to sell. You've got to learn to promote yourself. You shouldn't be apologetic. You, you, you know, Steve Jobs wasn't apologetic about selling Apple. You know, he, he would quite happily pitch you the products and services and the vision and the iPod because he believed in it. So when people don't like other people selling, it usually means they don't like selling themselves because they don't believe in themselves. And then therefore they don't sell themselves. Therefore, they don't like other people selling. Wow, this one turned into a bit of a rant. <laughs> Let me know what you think. A bit of, um, yeah. Uh, but as you can see, I engage in the comments. Thank you for all of you donating the stars. Agatha says here, I give my son pocket money. Enough to make him want more. Okay, fair enough, Agatha. Look, I'm not going to tell anyone how to be a parent. But maybe you could get him to earn some money too. Maybe you give him a very basic amount of pocket money, but he has to do some chores for that pocket money. So he's not just getting given money. He's actually sort of... He's not directly earning it, but he's got a certain level of maintenance to get it. And then he can do over and above and earn um, extra money over and above by working um, and doing jobs. Maybe you could you could try that. Thank you very much for all the kind comments. And, and like I, on the note of Rob.team, by the way, because we've got 5000 members absolutely smashing it, doing some really good stuff in the world, which I'm really proud of. Um, I said to myself about 52 days ago. I'm just going to mention Rob.team every day and see what happens. Because I was doing a lot of clubhouse rooms and they, the, the results would be up and down and it took a lot of time. And I thought, you know what? I'll just do a Facebook Live at least once a day and I'll mention Rob.team at the end and I'll just see what happens. And nearly 1,500 members in 50, 52 days, you can do the maths on the numbers per day, just from mentioning and talking about Rob.team. Instead of the odd person bitching to me about selling myself, maybe they could learn something from that. Like I've learned something from that. I knew what consistency meant 16 years ago, but I've retaught myself. Imagine if for me, and you can model this, but imagine if every day for the last three years, I'd mentioned my membership site, Rob.team at the end of my lives. I'd have 25, 50,000 members, who knows by now. And even at just five pounds a month, you know, that could be 125, 150,000 a month. And then all the case studies and the great results and the massive community and everything else. So what about you? What are you going to do? Maybe you're going to do a Facebook Live every day or a Clubhouse Room every day or an Instagram Live every day. And maybe you're going to mention your book or your product or your service. Like, how many times have I ever sold you my books? None. Do you know I've written 18 books? Money, life leverage, start now, get perfect later, I'm worth more, opportunity, routine equals results. And not once in a live in the last five years have I pitched my books. So anyway. Um, thanks for tuning in. Hit the share button because I think people don't really understand the wrong types of people to give money to. I believe you shouldn't give money to the homeless. You should do other things for them that are valuable that they can't squander because obviously they've learned to mismanage um, money or their life. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. Now, sometimes they're unlucky. I, I totally respect that. You shouldn't give money to your kids. You should make them earn it. Even pocket money. Don't spoil them. Teach them how the world works and the world rewards people who work, who exchange and who create fair value. And then don't give money to friends or family unless you're just doing it out of the kindness of your own heart to make yourself feel good and you never want it back. So let me know what you think about those three things. Um, these three types of people that you shouldn't give money to. Please hit the share button because I think that this content is useful for a lot of people. Um, Tracy has said, why do you need all this extra money, Rob? You're already a millionaire. Um, like, why do you need to get more fit when you're already fit? Why do you need to wrong, run longer when you've already run long enough? 
Why do you need to go on holiday again when you've been on holiday before? Why do you need to do anything more? You know, why do you need to eat more food when you've eaten enough? Desire, hunger. And for me, our desire and hunger growth, our desire and hunger uh, progress, our desire and hunger being useful and meaningful. And money is the one of the ways of getting um, feedback that you're on the right path. So um, if I'm giving more value, I'm going to get paid more. If I'm making more progress, I'm going to get paid more. By the way, there are other variables, but money is one feedback mechanism to tell me that I'm growing, I'm progressing, I'm evolving, I'm offering more value. And, And to me, my highest value is growth and progress. I love growth. I love progress. I love the thought that today I'm better than I was yesterday. And today I was more useful than I was yesterday. And today I got better results than I did yesterday. For me, I live for that. I love that. It's one of my highest values. So money is the sort of thing whereby like if you make more of it, you feel better. If you make less of it, you don't feel so good because more money is one measure of growth. So I'm never going to bore of wanting to make more money. And when you make your first million, you want your 10th. And when you want you make your 10th, you want your 100th. And when you make your 100th, you want your billion. And by the way, I'm not really money obsessed. When do you ever have, hear me talking about how much money I earn? Rarely. Um, when do you ever hear me talking just about money and money, money, money? And it's all about money. Rarely. Um, I am obsessed about growth and progress and value. And I want to get paid my fair share. Um, so, yeah, I hope that helps answer your question. Um, you're not getting better. You're talking less and the shirts are getting less loud. <laughs> Maybe by talking less, NASA, I'm get, getting better because sometimes say, le- you know, say less, speak more. Who knows? So what do you all think? The three types of people you should never give your money, the homeless, your kids and your friends and family. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. Join Rob.team right now for the cost of a large coffee one third of the price of Netflix to start your business, to scale your business, to get better financial education and knowledge, to get masterclasses every 10 days, to start to be an entrepreneur, to get the side hustle, to do the work from home, to create the multiple streams of income, to build the assets, to get the um, residual passive income. Join Rob.team to learn how to do that. Learn, earn, invest. So open a new page on the internet right now. Do it quickly while I'm here. Type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Go and join. Cost of a large coffee. One third of the price of Netflix. You can cancel any time. No contract. If you join now, then in 24 hours time, the brand new seven ways to 100K. The the seven quickest ways myself and my business partner know to make your first 100K or your next 100K we're doing in the next 24 hours. So sign up right now to Rob.team and you can get that Zoom masterclass as a member completely for free. And how you do that is you open a new page on the internet and you type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think of the content. Hit the share button. And remember this, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. And those of you that have just tuned in late and you missed the content, go back to the start. I'll cover it in the first few minutes.